Hello there, all of you possum people. It's me, Grand Panda here. Welcome back to my Wizard 101 Balance walkthrough. Now, last time, uh, we entered Azteca already. And, um, anyways, while I was not recording anything, I went on and did that crafting quest. And, um, and I did the, um, quest to defeat the crazed horns for information in three points. So, now we should get back to the call rest. Red mask. I almost said res mask. <laughs> At least some of the names in this world are pretty easy to pronounce. Tesca fled into the mall. That leads underground. Where the hungry dead star. When a comet Chivalba first appeared in the sky, ten cycles passed, the Aztecas or Oracles pronounced doom. So they fled underground to leave in the mines and dwell among their dead. The mall is the entrance to the caverns of the Cenote. But when the Shadow Queen arrived, the dead awoke and they were hungry. Let us speak closer to the city. Meet me in the Zocalo proper. Okay, and also, to let you guys know, Azteca is one of my favorite, favorite worlds. It's literally my most favorite world, actually. Because, because first off, the, um, the whole areas are really good. And I really love the Azteca times. Like, um. Like, they have, um. They have the greatest species on this world in the game. They literally do. And also, just because, um. I had a old OC that I originally used as a main villain and I was originally going to put him in the Venturian Tales um, series that um, that is actually going to be continuing there's no Final Reach 5 coming um, I was gonna let um, Zocalo be the main villain, villain instead of Catapo I was originally going to do that but then I came up with Catapo and um, <laughs> And then I guess I wanted him. I wanted to make him the main enemy. So, <laughs> guess. While the Shadow Queen has left the City of Three Winds, her Umbra Legion has agents everywhere. It is crucial to find Tesla Three Star down in the Cenote and make sure he is safe. You can get there through the mall. All right. Problem is the way it's blocked. And I don't know if I'm going to keep that sort of kings on my character for the whole Azteca uh, world. The mall is blocked off by a ton of rubble. No easy way through here. It looks like it was deliberately caved in by something powerful. Maybe the call red mask knows another way in. All right. Wait a minute, I think he and her, or me and her are on the same quest. Are we? Nope. <laughs> she went straight through the rocks. <laughs> great. <laughs> Just great. Yeah, whatever. Blocked off? What a dastardly diversion. Find the alchemist you play tailbiter in three points. He's a bit different. But he might have a good idea for clearing the path. Yeah, Shipley the untrustworthy one. I usually never trust that guy. <laughs> He's crazy. Strange creature. Can you make an agreeable sound? Can you understand me? You need to get through the rubble to rescue his cat three star? Into the mall? <laughs> I can perhaps help you with that. Okay. I have a question for you guys. Would you actually trust this guy? I don't think so. <laughs> Some ingredients. I can make you a strong concoction. Go to Lack Willow's Smoke Eye and ask for salt of stone. Then Kanaka Sweet Chalet for silver and charcoal from Hoteka White Ash. And then, then you'll see Tezcat Three Star. <laughs> I literally don't trust you still. <laughs> 
Like I said, this ain't the story version, okay? It's just a walkthrough. Shipley tail biter sent you for some salt of stone? I have some that's been boiled down, filtered, and sun dried. Yes, you can have some, but well, make sure you don't stand too close when he performs his experiment. <laughs> See what he said. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's uh, talk to Pateka first before we get into. Oh, nope. I guess we're gonna have to. All right. Some sulfur for Shipley Tailbiter? I would like to help you, little one, but the crazed Thunderhorns took it from me. Perhaps if you confront them in three points, you can get some sulfur from them. Alright. Okay, is there anyone battling them? I really hope there is. There should be someone battling them already. No, I don't see anyone battling them. Guess I'm gonna have to do this by myself. All right. And hopefully, this one kills them. I, I already know it ain't. Whoa. Okay, I think that was a hundred plus overkill. Are you serious? Are you literally serious? I didn't collect any sulfur from that? You are kidding me. Okay, hold on. Alright. That's it. And I don't need that. Crap! Finally blocked it. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah, now please tell me that I got all the sulfur, please. Oh my god. Yes, I got them all. Alright. Sheeply wants charcoal? That fool. Does he want to burn us all to our end before the comet strikes us down? Yes, yes, you can have some. But I dropped it in my rush to get to safety. You'll have to collect it from three points on your own. No, that was a black lotus. I meant I needed charcoal. I mean charcoal. <laughs> charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just made a little pun right there without even doing anything. I accidentally made a pun. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, music here is still awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, and guys, in there. You can do like a side quest when you free te uh, test Cat 3 Star and bring him back to the Zocalo. He'll give you a quest to um, do some quest, uh, do something to get um, stones and then place them at that room right there. I forgot where I was going. Okay, where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> you got everything. <laughs> now with the salt of stone, the charcoal, and the lovely sulfur. We can make a strong concoction. Mm, smells lovely, doesn't it? I don't even smell it. Take this carefully, carefully, and when you get close to the rubble, throw it hard and then run for your life. Boom! <laughs> I literally don't trust you, dude. I mean, uh, move back a safe distance. Then find Tezcat three star in Cenote. I hope he isn't standing too close. Boom! Big for the boom! <laughs> yeah, you're you're crazy. <laughs> Sheeplo is literally a maniac. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of rubble to clear to get into the mall. You hope Shipley's strong concoction lives up to its name. It sure smells strong, like rotten eggs. You throw the strong concoction with all your might, and then hunker down for safety. That was a big bada boom. As the smoke and dust clear, you can see a path into the mall. All right. And fire. What kind of strange spirit are you? Neither. I'm playing as balance this time. Not a spirit? Well, whatever you are, I hope you can help me. Our ancestors have risen from the grave, and they are hungry. I have barely been able to resist them. Do you think you could drive some Thunderhorn zombies back to give me a respite? Okay, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Right now, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, if you did enjoy this episode, why not be a possum person by high five and the like button? Jeez, I've been recording for 27 minutes. And I will see all of you possum people in the next video.